Hey, welcome to a new video. Our Earth is just a small speck in the universe. Space is so vast that it harbors a lot of mysteries that we don't always have answers to. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Scientists say a hole opens in Mars' complex atmosphere every two years. This would send the red planet's scarce water supply into space. Most puzzling is that Mars would be too cold to hold water vapor in its atmosphere. Thanks to computer simulations, scientists have discovered that every two years, as Mars moves closer to the sun, water vapor can easily pass through this hole. Here we observe an impressive rock formation on the mysterious red planet Mars, resembling an ancient deity from the past. One might almost mistake it for a piece of art belonging in a museum. This intriguing phenomenon was discovered by NASA's Mars Opportunity rover. The rock formation is compared to a Neo-Assyrian deity named Nabu, the god of wisdom. Could it be that the ancient Assyrians had an incredibly advanced way of traveling through space, even to Mars, leaving behind enduring artworks? Or is there a chance that extraterrestrial beings with a similar deity in mind created this on the Martian surface? What are your thoughts? Spiders on Earth are creepy enough. But if this next photo is to be believed, spiders would have been found on Mars as well. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured this image in 2018. But rest assured, as far as we know, there aren't really any spiders roaming around on Mars. As winter turns to spring, carbon dioxide ice beneath the surface begins to warm. Its release is then blocked, and the pressure builds before it explodes into a jet. Sometimes dark dust and winds play a role, all of which contribute to these spider-like stripes. NASA's Courageous Curiosity rover recently made a mysterious discovery in the desolate landscape of Mars. On April 1st, 2023, photos were taken showing a rock that appears to be covered in protrusions of On April 1st, 2023, photos were taken showing a rock that appears to be covered in protrusions or thorns. This peculiar structure is located at the base of the massive Gale Crater, which is approximately 96 miles or 154 kilometers wide. The Gale Crater is estimated to be between 3.5 and 3.8 billion years old, and it's believed to have once contained a vast lake that has now dried up. They sent the Curiosity rover to this crater in November 2011 due to evidence of water in Mars' distant past. The rover studies the planet's climate geology and prepares for future human exploration of Mars. However, people have compared NASA's find to a fishbone or the branch of a majestic spruce tree. Others say that this complex formation appears unlikely for something naturally occurring on Earth. Like humans, stars have a life cycle. They're born from an area of gas and dust from space, also called nebulae. Then they continue to burn for millions to billions of years until they eventually die out. But this is not true for all stars, as scientists have recently encountered stars that died but suddenly came back to life, just like zombies. In July of 2019, three zombie stars have been discovered and scientists now think it may have been a new class of supernova. A supernova is the exploding of a star, and they are the largest explosions humans have ever seen in space. With this specific type lack supernova, scientists hypothesize that the explosion may have left behind parts of a white dwarf star that had already begun to erupt. This phenomenon raised a lot of new questions that remain unanswered for now. In 2019, the media went crazy about a photo showing a bright light on Mars. So could life really exist on this planet? Or could this be a signal? However, this would not have been the first time a light was seen on Mars. In fact, this happened in 2014. In fact, this happened in 2014 as well. NASA says it was just the sun reflecting off a rock. Do you believe this? During the STS-48 mission on September 15, 1991, the space shuttle Discovery under the command of Captain John Creighton was nearly 348 miles or, 500, or 560 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The crew carried out various missions, including deploying a satellite for atmospheric research. What made this mission intriguing, however, was the reported contact with a UFO described as a saucer-like craft. According to reports, the space shuttle appeared to be surrounded by an unexplained object at a certain point during the mission. One of the astronauts openly spoke about it, stating they believe they were being followed by an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Shortly after, all communication was lost, leading to speculation that the astronaut quickly switched to a private channel to describe what he was observing. Besides the potential presence of extraterrestrial beings, could you imagine how startled the astronauts must have been? When the unnamed vehicle, the Curiosity rover, was doing its daily research, one day it took a mysterious picture of what looks like a large doorway. Theories quickly circulated that this was a doorway to an underground society or a portal to enter another world. 
Although it looks like a carved doorway, most people think it's just a suspicious looking cave. The recent release of new photos by NASA featuring the Mars Curiosity rover has excited conspiracy theorists greatly. The vehicle currently exploring the red planet for signs of life captured an image that appears to depict a human worker repairing the spacecraft. This has sparked heated debates regarding the existence of life on Mars, and not just any life, but human life. Could governments be hiding more from us than we had imagined? The shadow in the photo resembles a male figure, easily recognizable by his disheveled hair, the absence of a helmet, and the presence of the air tank and protective suit. These speculations follow claims made by Gary McKinnon after he discovered classified documents suggesting the evidence of extraterrestrial officers. However, skeptics argue that the Curiosity rover may not even be on Mars, suggesting instead that it's on Earth, maintained and cleaned by humans. The skull-shaped asteroid, also known as 2015 TB145, is an asteroid known as a potentially dangerous object, with a diameter of about 650 meters. In October of 2015, it first showed up on radar and passed the Earth. It did so again in 2018 during Halloween. According to astronomers, the eerie asteroid was fortunately about 40 million kilometers away from Earth. The asteroid has been nicknamed Spooky, and scientists believe it's a dead comet. Even so, it's one of the creepiest things ever observed in space. The possibility that an ancient civilization once existed on Mars is becoming more and more real, especially when this photo was published of what is called Marshenge. Similar to the mysterious Stonehenge in Britain, Marshenge is not the only one of its kind. Numerous pyramid-like structures and ruins are said to have been found. Could it be that we are dealing here with intelligent life that built this stone formation? Or is it just pure coincidence? During the historic Apollo 16 mission, the crew briefly encountered an unidentified flying object, leading to much speculation. As astronauts John Young, Thomas Mattingly, and Charles Duke were returning to the Earth after their moon mission, they managed to capture about four seconds of video footage of this peculiar object. This footage, recorded using a 16mm video camera, briefly showed the UFO near the moon before it disappeared from the camera's view. When the camera was once again focused on the object, it reappeared. NASA clarified that the object in question was not an alien UFO. We've seen a number of unexplained things on Mars by now. But if this next photo is to be believed, animal herds have been found on Mars as well. Certain coordinates would lead you to this area on Mars, and they are in the same formation as a herd of cattle would be. It is thought that these figures or structures are about 200 meters long and extend for hundreds of kilometers. In 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history as the first humans to set foot on the moon during Apollo 11. However, Apollo 17 in 1972 marked the last moon mission ever conducted, and we have not returned since. Plans for Apollo 18, 19, and 20 were eventually put on hold due to budget constraints, or were they? William Rutledge, a former U.S. Air Force employee, claims the existence of a highly secretive Soviet-American mission called Apollo 20. According to him, Apollo 20 landed on August 16, 1976 and targeted the Delaporte Crater, an impact site on the far side of the moon perpetually hidden from Earth's view. The main objective of the mission was to investigate an extraterrestrial spacecraft first detected by the Apollo 15 crew in 1971. Williams' account suggests that the astronauts not only explored an ancient lunar city, but also entered the alien spacecraft. The main objective of the mission was to investigate an extraterrestrial spacecraft first detected by the Apollo 15 crew in 1971. Williams' account suggests that the astronauts not only explored an ancient lunar city, but also entered the alien spacecraft. Inside the craft, they retrieved various alien devices and even brought back one of the deceased alien pilots to their lunar module, earning the nickname the Mona Lisa of Space. William further claims that an analysis of meteorite impact density provided compelling evidence that both the lunar city and spacecraft had existed for approximately 1.5 billion years. On Earth alone, there have been many sightings of monoliths mysteriously appearing in locations only to mysteriously disappear again. One that made the news was a monolith that had been in a remote location in the desert of Utah for several years. The big question about these monoliths is who and why did they put it there? According to the 2001 film A Space Odyssey, monoliths were put down by aliens to trigger human evolution. But monoliths are said to be found not only on Earth, as there's also one on Mars that is about 90 meters high. This is the Phobos monolith, a rock found on the moon of Mars. The monolith is located near the Stickney Crater, and is so large that you can even see a shadow. The discovery of the monolith made many people very curious about what it could be, or rather, who put it there. What do you think? 
One of the theories about the origin of the Pyramids of Giza is that they were built by aliens. This may sound bizarre to some people, but what if I told you that a pyramid was found on Mars? This pyramid seems to look almost perfect, and it may be surrounded by other ruins. However, if it's not a pyramid, then it should probably be an ordinary rock. A photograph from the Apollo 14 mission has raised questions about a mysterious blue light captured in it. Since the photo was taken outdoors with the sun below the horizon, the possibility of a lens flare seems unlikely. It's claimed that Edgar Mitchell, the lunar module pilot, revealed on his deathbed to an anonymous confidant that the Apollo missions were closely monitored by these enigmatic blue lights. He allegedly saw them firsthand and stated that they were not lens flares. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station have a unique perspective of our planet from beyond Earth's surface. From this vantage point, they occasionally witness phenomena that escaped ground-level observation. In September 2021, astronauts aboard the ISS observed a vivid blue light illuminating the skies above Europe. These phenomena are said to occur when lightning bolts shoot upward from thunderstorms and penetrate the stratosphere. However, the presence of the blue light in the Apollo 14 photo, as well as Edgar's testimonies, remains a mystery. One of the reasons Mars is so scary to us is the fear of the unknown. But the idea that humans have walked on Mars before and that NASA would keep it hidden is even scarier. If the following story is to be believed, there was a former NASA employee named Jackie who along with six other employees had seen two men in protective suits on Mars in 1979. According to her claims, there would have been a secret space mission to Mars. But if this story is really true, why was it never told to the public? This previously unreleased image, taken during an interview at the NASA Research Center in California, has sparked intense speculation among alien hunters. They claim that the unintentional display of the photo provides evidence for the long-held belief that NASA is aware of intelligent extraterrestrial visitors to the Earth and the Moon, but conceals the information to protect religious and societal order. During the interview, observant viewers noticed the intriguing image on a desk. According to conspiracy theorists, the image on the table exhibits clear geometric shapes, unmistakably distinct from natural formations or lunar rocks. Some even suggest that a courageous NASA employee intentionally left the photos visible to bring the truth to the light. Since their first appearance in 2012, these photos continue to fuel discussions and raise questions. According to the theory of relativity, a black hole is a place in space where gravity would pull so strongly that even light would not be able to get out. By that description, you can probably imagine what would happen if the Earth were sucked into such a hole. But how big can these holes actually get? Scientists say they can be incredibly large. So large, in fact, that more than 100 billion suns could fit into one. The largest black hole ever discovered is called TON-618. It has a mass of 66 billion times that of our sun. Scientists are busy studying this to find out if even bigger black holes exist. Finding more information about black holes is also very important, so we can take another step forward in understanding our universe. For now, they're assuming that huge black holes may have formed as smaller black holes in the middle of galaxies and then started to merge and suck up other matter around them. But who knows? In the year 2022, a truly bizarre rock was found on the surface of Mars. It would have been overlooked at first, but soon they realized the rock had an unusual shape and abnormally smooth lines. Scientists attribute the formation of this rock to the fact that Mars once had water, and say it's possible that the silky smooth shape was carved by liquid water billions of years ago. During NASA's Perseverance rover landing in 2021, debris scattered across the landing site, including an odd ball of tangled material, often used in thermal blankets to protect spacecraft from extreme temperatures. Others believe it's an unidentified living being. However, NASA suggests that the ball may have been caused by a nearby crash of the rover's landing gear. What do you think this is? Let me know in the comments. On our Earth, we have all sorts of different weather phenomena, but scientists also managed to capture a phenomenon on camera on Mars, called a dust devil. Mars is notorious for its drought, but so, sometimes whirlwinds appear that can cause chaos. In some cases, they can stretch hundreds of meters across the surface. One of them even managed to reach 644 meters. During a mission in 2006, the crew of the space shuttle Atlantis encountered three mysterious objects floating in a triangular formation near the shuttle. One crew member described the object as a structure unlike anything they had seen on the exterior of the shuttle before. When the camera focused on the three spheres, Ground Control's commentator dismissed them as reflections in the camera's lens. However, the crew members seemed less dismissive and confirmed they saw three or four objects. It's worth noting that unidentified flying objects have been observed in various instances, and NASA has acknowledged the existence of unexplained aerial phenomena. 
While these video images of the incident remain mysterious, they are too vague to draw definitive conclusions about whether or not we are observing extraterrestrial beings. Nevertheless, it's unsettling to consider that aliens might be monitoring us as we explore space. You were probably hoping we were going to talk about UFOs in this list as well. Although NASA and other space agencies have never confirmed sightings of extraterrestrial life, there was an experiment in 1996 called the UFO Tether Incident. It remains very controversial to this day. This moment took place during the 75th Space Transportation Mission, a space shuttle mission whose purpose was to carry a satellite into space tied to a long wire. But unexpectedly, the wire broke, causing all kinds of debris to float through space. Although the video is not too clear, people believe that the luminous things are hundreds of UFOs that came to take a look. According to official reports, this would be more like ice crystals. According to official reports, this would be more like ice crystals, lightning flashes, or debris. But other people think that these are UFOs flying back and forth. The next photo you may have seen and went viral some time ago. After people claim to have encountered an extraterrestrial creature or a mermaid on Mars. An exploration rover named Spirit was allegedly responsible for taking this photo. But according to NASA, it's just a rock formation overlooking a hill about 8 kilometers away. Smith's Cloud is a remarkable cloud of hydrogen gas located in the constellation Aquila. It was first discovered in 1963 by Gail Biger Smith, an astronomy student at Leiden University in the Netherlands. With the help of the National Science Foundation, radio astronomers determined that Smith's Cloud has a mass of at least a million times that of our Sun. It stretches over a length of 9,800 light years and a width of 3,300 light years. The cloud is also situated at a distance between 36,000 and 45,000 light years from Earth which is roughly 20 times the diameter of the full moon. Despite its size, the cloud remains invisible to the naked eye. But what's eerie is that it's heading our way. Astronomers predict that the cloud will merge with our galaxy in about 27 million years, at a specific point in the Perseus arm. The collision has the potential to either trigger an explosion of star formation or the formation of a super bubble of neutral hydrogen, which could potentially provide enough gas to create 2 million suns. According to several scientists, a message is said to be carved into the Martian landscape. Since its invention in 1836, Morse code has been possible like no other means of communication. And it seems that Mars is trying to communicate with us. This Morse code-like message is a series of complex dots and dashes carved into an area below the North Pole of Mars. It's what scientists call the Haugaldun Field. Although some believe it must have been created by intelligent life, others say it's simply an impact from an ancient crater. Doesn't everyone always say that the physical location of heaven is in the sky while hell is beneath us? If we follow that line of thinking, doesn't it imply that angels would also exist in the sky? During a live broadcast by NASA, which they abruptly terminated after this figure appeared, a mysterious apparition emerged. This is far above Earth, given the immense size of our galaxy and the universe. When you zoom in on the angel, which initially appears to just be a light spot, something strange happens. The first thing you notice, you'll be left gaping at what appears to be wings and not the wings of an aircraft or spacecraft. The wings appear to be attached to a humanoid figure. Do you think this is a real angel? If so, where is it going? And where did it come from? Have you ever heard of face pareidolia? This is a phenomenon where we tend to see faces in everyday objects. The next face found on Mars was automatically detected by a computer system using facial recognition technology. The face found at the south pole of the moon has made many people think. Either it happens to be a crater that looks like a face, or it's an object created by someone. There's also several cultures that tell stories of beings living on the moon. But if this were the case, these must be gigantic creatures. Scientists say that we often create forms in our mind that are not really there. So what you probably see on the moon are craters and shadows from the lunar surface forming a face. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. In 1976, when the Viking 1 and Viking 2 missions set out to take pictures of Mars, they sent back one that was pretty scary. In fact, a face was buried under a surface in the Sindonia region. Mars may have no visible life, but could this be evidence of a past civilization? It's thought that this area is close to an ocean on Mars. According to NASA, it's just light and shadows, and we just imagine it to be a face. A popular theory is that Mars is the hiding place for all extraterrestrial beings. But if it harbors a hidden civilization, where do they reside? 
Some believe they've solved that puzzle. A YouTuber in 2016 highlighted the presence of three massive towers on the surface of the red planet. The towers exhibit peculiar features that lead some to believe they have an artificial origin. This discovery adds to the growing list of alleged findings that alien hunters hope for namely remnants of walled cities and villages on Mars. However, NASA scientists who have active rovers exploring the Martian surface dismiss these claims as merely rock formations. They attribute the phenomenon to pareidolia, where the brain tricks the eyes into seeing familiar objects and patterns such as faces. If there's talk of aliens on Mars, then of course there must be UFOs somewhere. And someone has indeed reported noticing a photo in which there appears to be a UFO that has crashed. Many people think this is really a UFO, while others say the disc-shaped object is just sand or space debris. Either way, it remains an amazing find that should definitely be investigated. Recently, a photo taken on Mars has captured the attention of UFO enthusiasts and believers in extraterrestrial beings. The analyzed image has led some to believe that it shows a humanoid figure in a dress, standing atop a rocky outcrop and acting as a looking point. An intriguing video even suggests that a light streak on the ground could be a pathway leading to the presumed home of this enigmatic figure. It's said that further research was conducted on the photos taken on the same day by the Curiosity rover, specifically on May 31st, 2015. An image taken from a slightly different angle using the rover's right navigation camera revealed a portion of the rover's wheels in the frame. This allowed for a sense of scale, indicating that if the humanoid Mars resident were real, it would be as tall as a pebble. If governments are to be believed, there have never been any UFO encounters that have been caught on camera, and were not created on Earth. But there was a time when the United States government conducted a series of studies on UFOs, which was called Project Blue Book. The purpose was to thoroughly research UFOs to see if they could pose a threat to humans. According to official documents in 1952, it would have collected 12,618 UFO reports, most of which were misidentifications. Think for example about clouds, stars, or other aircraft. However, there was a small percentage that were classified as unexplained. According to one story, the following video footage was said to come from the Apollo 11 moon mission that was eventually deleted. Some claim that this video material allegedly leaked from the project. Others say that the video footage of a creature on the moon was created by a computer. What do you think? A Swiss woman named Helene Smith claims that she's already been to Mars in the year 1894. She says that in her visions, she saw the red planet and that there are Martian cycles. Not only that, but she is said to have interacted with aliens driving self-propelled vehicles. To describe what she had seen, she had made several drawings, including those of the aliens she saw and the places she had visited. Do you believe her story? In 2017, British alien hunter John Cradick claimed to have spotted a mysterious object during a live broadcast by NASA after which the broadcast was suddenly interrupted for a few seconds. John, who had been watching the live broadcast for years, had never seen anything like it before. According to him, the object initially appeared small and then grew, taking about 25 seconds. He's convinced that this sighting is the evidence of extraterrestrial life, as he believes that nothing human could fly at such a high altitude. This incident is not the first of its kind either. In 2016, a similar event occurred, when an object was observed just above Earth's atmosphere, resulting in the interruption of the ISS broadcast. However, NASA is said to have provided explanations for the interruptions in the live broadcast. In both incidents, they stated that the interruption was due to a technical glitch and that there was no deliberate attempts to conceal anything. It is understandable that some people find this suspicious, but it's important to remember that technical glitches and interruptions in live broadcasts are not uncommon. If the live broadcast had continued, NASA would likely have been able to determine the cause of the interruption and proceed with the broadcast as usual. In 2016 and 2017, the Curiosity rover reportedly took a number of photos showing a cannonball. A nuclear war that wiped out all of the Martians probably sounds too far-fetched, but what else could this be? According to NASA itself, it could just be a pebble that happened to have a perfectly round shape. China's U-22 lunar rover, part of the Chang'e 4 mission, made a remarkable discovery on the mysterious far side of the moon. As the rover was preparing to take a nap, it came across a strange substance in a crater that differed significantly in color from the surrounding lunar surface. A member of the science team spotted the small crater through the rover's main camera and immediately alerted the lunar scientists. Fascinated by this unusual find, the researchers decided to temporarily put aside the rover's original plans to move further west and instead investigate the mysterious material. U-22 approached the crater cautiously and focused on the enigmatic substance, resulting in this incredible discovery. 
While scientists described the substance as gel-like and having an unusual color, they kept the details under wraps for the time being. Some researchers not involved in the mission speculate the substance could be melted glass resulting from meteorite impacts, but no definitive conclusion has been drawn. However, the Chinese Space Agency emphasizes that Chang'e 4's mission continues to unveil the mysteries of the far side of the moon. In an interview with American NASA astronaut Dr. Story Musgrave, he claims that he had twice seen a strange object in space that he called the snake. According to him, it looked like a two meter long eel swimming in space, but he also said it could be something from the spacecraft that had become detached. The man is said to have made a total of six space flights, and he was the only astronaut aboard five space shuttle missions. When he asked if he had ever seen UFOs, he said no. But when asked if he thinks there's other life in space, he said that there are probably advanced beings that have been around for over 100 million years and are so advanced that we can't imagine it. Of all the creatures we've seen so far, this one of a giant crab has to be the strangest. Could this be proof that monstrous crabs the size of Godzilla live on Mars? So far, there are two scenarios about what it could be. Either it's a real crab or it's the pareidolia phenomenon a psychic phenomenon where we attribute everything to familiar shapes, meaning this is probably an unusual rock formation. In September 2002, amateur astronomer Bill Jung made an incredible discovery, what initially appeared to be a new asteroid orbiting our Earth. Upon further analysis, however, it turned out that this object, named J002E3, was no ordinary asteroid at all. Researchers embarked on a quest to determine the object's origin, and found that it had been captured into Earth's orbit in April 2002, having previously orbited the Sun in a similar path to that of Earth. Further investigations revealed that the object had originally left the Earth's orbit in February 1971. Another team of scientists from the University of Arizona stumbled upon an intriguing clue. It was covered in white titanium oxide paint. This led to the conclusion that J002E3 was most likely the third stage of a Saturn V rocket from the era of the Apollo missions. The Saturn V rocket played a crucial role in launching Apollo astronauts to the moon and the Skylab space station into Earth's orbit. The third stage, known as SIVB, measured approximately 59 feet or 18 meters in length. After releasing the Apollo spacecraft, the SIVB would temporarily orbit Earth before being reignited to send its hardware on a trajectory toward the moon. Remarkably, this object ended up in an unusual orbit around Earth, lending support to the theory that it originally came from something extraterrestrial. On Earth, getting stuck in a labyrinth is scary enough, but imagine if this happened on Mars. Welcome to Labyrinth of the Night, located on the western edge of Mars, called Valles Marianas, a rift system discovered in 1971. This formation is a complex maze-like area of bewildering and disturbingly deep valleys. It is thought to have been carved by volcanic activity in ancient times. A recent documentary has raised fascinating claims about Venus, our neighboring planet suited close to the sun. It suggests that Venus could potentially serve as a hidden base for extraterrestrial beings or even as a secret outpost for NASA. What makes the documentary so intriguing are the images depicting mysterious structures on the rugged surface of Venus, which could indicate the presence of life forms. NASA has always described Venus as an inhospitable place with extreme heat and powerful winds making it one of the most hostile environments in our solar system. Yet, the documentary combines images released by NASA with footage from a Japanese spacecraft to demonstrate that perfectly rectangular structures appear to exist on Venus. The narrator of the documentary points to the mysterious and secretive nature of Venus, which is rarely discussed. Some believe that the secrecy is deliberate. According to NASA, Venus was once a potentially Earth-like planet, but it transformed into the inhospitable world it is today with temperatures hot enough to melt lead due to an extreme greenhouse effect. Nevertheless, there seems to be areas on Venus that could potentially support life, with structures observed in the planet's white craters. These structures suggest that there might be intelligent design behind them, given their symmetry and elevated nature. Some speculate that these structures could be remnants from the past, when Venus may have been more hospitable to life. Furthermore, due to the lack of media attention on Venus, it is considered a potential ideal location for a secret base, adding to the mysteries surrounding the neighboring planet. One of the things that scientists are fascinated about are FRB signals. They pick up all kinds of things in space, and operators are used to them by now. But in 2018, there was a mysterious powerful radio signal with a strange pattern that even scientists were astounded by. These FRB signals are believed to originate from the depths of space, but exactly where they came from remains a mystery. 
Some believe signals could be advanced life trying to communicate with us, while others believe they could come from young neutron stars born thousands of years ago. Why they make flickering signals though, it's not entirely clear. Almost every major and advanced civilization in Earth's history left monoliths behind. And well, Mars seems to have one too. In some NASA photos of the mysterious planet, a monolith stands out. So unnaturally upright and rectangular in shape that it looks like it was put there. Strangely, people have compared it to the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. This raises the question, could it be something left behind by aliens? What do you think? On February 3, 1984, the Space Shuttle Challenger mission STS-41B began, which would produce one of the most iconic space moments ever. Here we see an astronaut named Bruce McCandless, floating freely above the Earth during the very first untethered spacewalk. Bruce was part of NASA's Astronaut Group 5, along with Vance Brand, the commander of the STS-41B. What made this mission so special was that on February 7th and February 9th, Bruce and his colleague Robert Stewart ventured into space without any connection to the space shuttle. They did this using a device called the Man Maneuvering Unit, or MMU. The MMU measured about 33 inches or 84 centimeters wide, 28 inches or 71 centimeters deep, and 50 inches or 127 centimeters high. It had an aluminum frame with two tanks filled with nitrogen, wrapped in Kevlar. This propellant provided them with enough energy for spacewalks lasting over six hours. Bruce and Robert traveled about 328 feet or 100 meters away from the shuttle several times during their spacewalks. All while they and the shuttle were moving at a staggering speed of 18,000 miles or 29,000 kilometers per hour through space. Inside the shuttle, the rest of the crew closely monitored their movements. But just imagine what could have happened if they drifted too far. Fortunately, Vance had a plan to maneuver the shuttle to catch up with them, aiming to get the astronauts back inside the shuttle's payload bay. There, they could use handholds to grab on and safely return to the shuttle. However, the idea of floating in space is indefinitely is downright chilling. On any planet they find, the first thing scientists often look at is the possibility of having water. After all, water is the key to life. Alarmingly, Mars once had water. More than that, it had an ocean as large as ours, or perhaps even larger. Though Mars is now dry, there is evidence left behind such as a tadpole in a valley and what looks like the remains of a fish. Think of the possibilities that could arise if Mars were to contain water. The Black Knight satellite conspiracy theory has gained popularity in recent times, and it's a story that sparks our imagination. According to this story, there's a mysterious extraterrestrial spacecraft in near polar orbit around Earth, while NASA actively tries to keep its existence and origin secret. This theory combines various unrelated stories into one overarching narrative. A photo taken during the STS-88 mission, which some claim shows the Black Knight satellite, is classified by NASA as an image of space debris. According to UFO conspiracy theorists, it's an artificial satellite of extraterrestrial origin that has been orbiting the Earth for about 13,000 years. The earliest clues related to the satellite theory mainly revolve around the mysterious radio signals. During the STS-88 mission in 1998, a series of images were released by NASA, showing a mysterious black object hovering above Earth in orbit around our planet. But let's go back to the year 1899, when the famous inventor Nikola Tesla detected peculiar signals, presumably from space. Tesla noticed these unusual radio signals, and even speculated that they could be coming from an intelligent extraterrestrial civilization. However, space journalist Jamo Berg suggests that it's more likely just debris from a lost thermal blanket during a space mission. The next item is pretty creepy and is known as the Lost Cosmonaut. Yuri Gagarin was a Russian cosmonaut who was the first human in space on April 12, 1961. But rumors circulated that the Russians had previously sent cosmonauts to space who never returned to Earth. The Soviet Union has also said that these claims are not true, and that these spacecraft they sent into space were unmanned. However, on November 28, 1960, two radio amateurs picked up an audio recording of a female cosmonaut stuck in space. In the recording, the woman appears to call out repeatedly that she's hot and running out of oxygen. Take a listen. To this day, it remains a mystery what this had been. What do you think about the universe? And would you ever want to take a trip to space? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.